We're still doing similarity with regards to area. Uh, and please make sure you've seen all my previous videos eh, where I uh, explain first of all what similarity is. Eh? Corresponding angles are equal, corresponding sides are in proportion. We've spoken about skill factor and we've also looked at the difference between yeah, questions involving area and questions involving just ordinary lengths. Yeah? So make sure uh, you've seen those videos or check my site explainingmaths.com where you'll find all these videos nicely organized. Okay, now to this question before moving on to similarity and volume we're going to solve this question and um, they give me an area of one uh, triangle right angle triangle and in the question it will state that the triangles are, are similar by the way they give me the area of the other one and I have to find a length okay so it's a bit of a combination of similarity with area and similarity involving lengths now some students who don't really understand what similarity is and just do, you know, are happy by just writing something down will say, well, that is four times as small. So eight divided by four, they're gonna say X is two centimeters. And they're like, yes, I've got something on paper. Yeah, but just writing something down is not good enough because we want to be correct as well. We want to understand what we're doing. And what do we understand is that, let's say the area of the small triangle times the skill factor, and K usually is used uh, as a letter when we're talking about skill factor, times skill factor squared is gonna give me the area of the big triangle. And that's what I've explained, that's what I've showed in my previous video, yeah? By looking at some squares. And we understand that now. So the area of the small triangle, which is four, times the skill factor squared, and I don't know what the skill factor is, it's not four, you don't divide uh, the area is to find the skill factor, no. Four times skill factor squared is gonna give me the area of the bigger one, which is 16. Now I can find out what that skill factor is. 16 divided by four, so it is the square root of four, which is two. The skill factor is two, it's not four, no. It is two, these aren't areas, those aren't lengths. Okay, if the skill factor is two, to find out x, we realize it's gonna be less than eight because it's smaller, so it is eight divided by the skill factor, so the length of x equals four centimeters, and not two centimeters, like some students will say, because they say, oh, I'll divide the area, six divided by four is four, skill factor is four, eight divided by four is two, no because when we're looking at area, we have to uh, take into account that we're talking about the skill factor squared. Okay, so make sure that you've seen that previous video where I explain why it is the skill factor squared. Moving on to volume in my next videos, we're gonna have a look at some yeah, cubes now. Yeah? So not lengths, not area, no volume. And then with similarity, what happens and what happens with the skill factor? Perhaps you want to think about that already. Um, and you can check my site explainingmaths.com for all the resources you need to understand maths a little bit better. And if this was useful guys, like and share it, that would be really helpful so I can help your friends too. Okay, I thank you very much and I wish you a very pleasant day. Bye bye.